What's up, buddy? Welcome back. You. Glad you found the place. I just thought, since I just ran through a show, and we'd sold a bunch of stuff off, that I would talk a little bit about one of the strategies that I use uh, when I'm doing my Facebook sales um, in the groups. Now, there's several different ways that people sell in groups. You know, people sell buy it nows or they do auctions they have different levels and price points um what they do their buy it nows you know a lot of people like to try to keep it you know in the facebook groups between the five and you know 35 dollar range on the buy it nows and that's not like saying some of the higher end groups you know covid home gym show and then doing live feeds is different but what we're talking about here is just showcase style sales where you go into a group and then you have the whole group to yourself for 24 or 48 hours. Now if you'll watch my videos before you'll know this table is usually end to end with cups. And this is after one show, one 48 hour show, this is the amount of cups that's missing. So it just gives you kind of an idea of what we sell, how much we sell. And the strategy that we use is to go in, and a lot of people will just do like 20 or 30, you know, post for their 24-hour show or whatever. On a 24-hour or on a 48-hour show, we'll run at least 70 auctions every 24 hours. So if I'm doing a 48-hour show, it's at least 140, and I try to keep it upwards of 90 to 100 posts every 24 hours. Um, this one, I believe, was a smaller show. It was just 70 on each day. Um, and then we had a box, a table behind us, but it's all sold out, so there's no sense in selling you half a blank table. But... What I like to do is add volume to it. So by running, you know, my auctions start at $4 each. But four, $4 auctions and running, you know, 70 to 100 of them each day and selling over half of them, you know, the money adds up. And, you know, we have some shows where this whole table will be empty. You know, we had a slow start on the second part of the show, which was down there. The first part of the show up here was, you know, Rent Willie Rail. And then we ran into, like, you know, the Monday kind of, you know, weekends are definitely our, our best time for sure. So that's why we always try to schedule our shows in groups on the weekends. And you can't always do that, but we're lucky enough that, you know, a couple of the groups that we do allow us to to pretty much pick our own dates. And we may at some point go over, you know, what groups I sell in and stuff like that. But I just wanted to kind of give you a look at, you know, selling volume over trying to sell one or two hundred dollar pieces. You know, and people still you know, buy the hundred, two hundred dollar rocks. I sell those too, but it's mostly on my Facebook page, not in the groups. Now there's like I said, a couple groups, the COVID Home Gym Show being the big group right now that has the higher end material in it. Um they sell a lot of, you know, especially in their live feeds, you'll see a lot of, you know, multiple hundred dollar pieces, three, four hundred bucks, and you'll see them selling. So, you know, that's totally one other way to go around it. And But what we do is literally just try to pump as many different options into a show as I can. I figure if I give you, you know, 70 to 100 options per day, most people are going to like a few of them. And that's all it takes is a few people bidding on, you know, half your stuff to actually add up to making a few hundred dollars a day. And I won't get into exactly what we make or whatever right now, but maybe we'll do a video if y'all would like to see that. We could talk a little more about what we actually make and how we go about distributing that between the buying more and 
and paying bills and whatnot. So there's actually a lot of money to be made in the rock and gym game right now. You just have to, you know, have a good supplier, have a good nose for it, know what to buy and know your prices. And a lot of people, like I said before, are trying to, you know, buy off of Etsy or something like that to try to sell. And it's just not a good business model, you know, trying to buy rocks online to sell online. You really need to, to hit up your bigger shows. And, you know, like I said, it can be done. Some of these auctions that we sell, people totally buy our $4 auctions and uh, they resell them for, you know, a lot more on some of them. But that's the exception to the rule so just thought I'd give you all a little look see at how volume can definitely help your business you know a lot of people think they just want to post a few things in their auctions and get people bidding wars you know start bidding things up and it don't always work like that because you know you're not always posting what people are going to be bidding after I mean if you're just posting mold divider opals that might work but you know, I find that giving people a big array of different material is definitely the way to go. All right, y'all come on back now.